the, the unfortunate interceptions um, and the, the fumble in the third, how are you able to just come back and just power yourself in your last game and just put it all out? It's the last game. I mean, playing to win, and just because you fumble it or some unfortunate interceptions happen, I mean, you're not going to hang your head and say, well, the game's over or something. I mean, it's the last game, we're leaving it all in the field, and um, we got a ball game to win, so let's just push on. How good does it feel to do it, man? You finally beat the Huskies. Feels great. Feels fantastic. <laughs> Jeff, with all the tumult through this year, how, how are you guys able to maintain, and again, down 28-10 today, still maintain and come back? And then, and so when you reflect on the year as a whole after a win like this, what are your thoughts? Uh, we, I mean, we just continuously said just to play with your hearts and just to leave it all. If you got, I said to the guys, if you have anything that's been holding you back this year, mentally, whatever, just let it go this game and don't think about anything and just let it go. And uh, and, and another theme was we were just playing for Travis, honestly, because we knew he would be out there and we wanted to win it for him. And <clears throat> so we had a lot to play for, honestly. I mean, this is this was this was our bowl game. We're playing for hardware, even though we have not so good of a record. So. Um, that was enough of motivation to come back from a 28-10 deficit. So the, the play where the <coughs> collapsed around you and you got the pass off and took a delay hit, you know, how big was that just to, from what it could have been to, to what it was? And... It, was it was huge. I mean, to be able to, to kind of keep the drive alive or move the ball, really, really change field position. But um, I was trying to make a play, and, and Isaiah made a great catch, great run after the catch, and um, so it worked out good. I don't. Even, I couldn't even say anything. I was just like, I, oh my god! I can't just. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I just. I couldn't believe it. I mean, what's going through your head there when they're trying to kick that field goal at the end of regulation? Were you just praying, or what was going? I was. Your head? I was praying. Me and a group of guys linked up, and we, we literally prayed to God to, for him to miss it or for us to block it. And the same thing. At the same thing. In, yeah. In yep. Yeah. Coach Leach came in here, and one of the first things he started talking about was adversity. For you, I mean, with this comeback today and everything, I mean, you look like you're kind of hobbling out there. And what was your conversation with Coach Leach after the game? Did you guys talk? Did you guys sit down at all, or did you plan on doing that? Um, there was no opportunity to sit down with him after the game, as you can imagine. But I'm sure sometime, some point, uh, we'll sit down and, and talk. But, I mean, that's what it's about. That's what it's, football's about. Um, and growing as a football player and I think as a, a man, as a person, is learning how to face with adversity. And football's not easy. It's not going to go your way, neither is life. So um, it's, things aren't easy this season, obviously. So we really learned how to push back on it. And, and uh, we'd like to have this feeling at the end of the game more. Does beating the Huskies <clears throat> make up for the kind of a dismal season? It does. I mean, that's what everybody says is, I don't really care how the season went. If you beat the Huskies, then. It's all good, so I'm hoping our fans will give us some, some sympathy for that. When our the kick went through, was Travis one of the first people that you went to find, or who, who was it that you grabbed and hugged, and what did you do right after the kick went through? I couldn't tell you. I was just running. Just running and yelling. I, don't, I wasn't running anybody or anything. Hugging anybody? Yeah. I was, yeah. I mean, once I stopped running, then I started hugging guys, but I mean. Were you able to find Travis? After the game, right? I, the field, I, no, we, we, were, we were all trying to get the trophy to him when we were up there, but we didn't know where he was. But uh, we saw him in the locker room afterwards. What did you say to him? <clears throat> Just loved him. Wish he was out there and that it was for him. I know some guys cry after games like this. Some guys hold it in. What were the emotions like for you? A little bit of everything. I mean, uh, it was real emotional. Just, just It's a feeling I'll never forget, seeing that kick go through the uprights. And, and uh, it was... Emotional seeing my family after the game and and uh, the fans and stuff. So it was just really a special moment. What does this game mean to you if it is indeed your last in a Cougar uniform? I mean, it means the world. This is it couldn't have gone out in a, a better way. I don't think it's a dream come true. I've been trying to get that cup for four years now and finally got it. So um, to go out like that is is special. So how did the volume and noise compare to other home games you played, and how did that kind of, kind of push you? Oh, it was great. It was great, man. Fans never got out of it. Even when we were down, I mean, we just we just kept chipping away. We get any little spark, crowds back in it. Um, when we were on defense, crowd was in it, and so was our sideline. Um, it was the fans did a tremendous job and, and really kept gave the Huskies a lot of problems. I think they they had quite a few false starts and whatnot. So I, I credit that to them.